Hi, my name's Adam Floriani and I'm a sport chiropractor and the director of Bayside Sport and Health Clinic. Today we're going to go through our most recommended home stretches for those people working at home but also that are trying to do some exercise. What we want to start doing is working on our posture. So as we get up from the ki kitchen table, we want to stand tall. We want to tuck or tilt our pelvis under, chin back, palms open, and stand up nice and tall. So this is a postural relief stretch. Really good to concentrate on breathing and stand up nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders. From there, what we can do is work on our neck. So we can work on our range of motion to each side. Now we want to stretch our upper trap. So these are our big, strong muscles. So from here, standing up tall, you can pop a hand behind your back, reach over. And what I say so people remember is turn and smell your armpit. So turn and look over and keep that shoulder down. And again, you can swap, hand behind your back, turn, look down at your armpit. Because most of us are now sitting a lot at home, what we're doing is shortening our hip flexors. So this isn't a great thing, especially when it comes to back pain. So a simple thing that we can do is start to open up our quads and open up our hips. So a very simple one, standing tall, tilt our pelvis under, and we can try to stretch our quads. Really, really nice way to open up the front of our hips. If that one's too hard or another alternative, we can do what's called a standing lunge stretch. So you can take a nice big step back, bring our hands up nice and tall and look up. So again, a great way of opening up the front of our hips because most of us are sitting and we're shortening our hip flexors all day, which can result in low back pain. The next one I'm gonna show you is probably my most favorite recommended stretch that I give to people. So it's there to do the opposite of what most of us do all day. So that's collapsing through our thoracic spine and this exercise can be done for just about anyone. So what we try to do, so we'll lay down. Again, tilt our pelvis under, so uh, bring our belly button down to the floor. Draw our neck in or our chin in. And we open up and stretch through the front of our shoulders. Once we do that, we can work our way up. And we'll keep moving our way up behind us like this. Now for the last one, hands back to the middle and we want to try to bring our straight arms back behind us. And when we're tight, what a lot of people do is arch their back. So we want to keep our pelvis tucked under and try to work through our shoulder range of motion. Great one to stretch our thoracic spine, but also all the different aspects of our shoulder muscles. This next series of stretches are the most important for spinal mobility. So a lot of these are taken from yoga. They're the key movements there. So what we're going to start with is the cat camel. So from here, we're in on all fours. With breathing, we arch our back. And we blow out. So you're really trying to round through the shoulders. So we're taking our spine through all the ranges of motion. From here, we go into a cobra. So there's a lot of variations depending on what your low back is like. So a cobra, we can start on our elbows, if that's comfortable. We can go in and look up. From there, we can go into a half cobra. Again, if that's comfortable, we can come up more and we can look up. It's a great way to get some extension through our lumbar spine. But again, if you have low back pain, you have to be careful with this one. From here, I like to always finish off with child's pose. So a great way to open up our lumbar spine trying to put your bum back towards your heels and chest down towards the floor. So again, very important to breathe as we're doing this. And from here, you can then do a side stretch, which will open up your low back and also through your lats. To finish off this series, I really like to do what's called pigeon pose. So probably one of the most common and also the easiest stretches to open up through our glute muscles. So these are our biggest, strongest muscles. So from here, back leg straight. The more you can get your foot up, the deeper the stretch is going to be. So we want to square our shoulders and slowly inch our way down. Keep
keeping a nice straight thoracic spine if possible. And in this position, I always say this isn't a short stretch. I want you to breathe and sink through the layers. So this is more like a two minute stretch, like in yoga. We want to let that glute muscle open up. And as you're going along, you may be able to deepen that stretch. And at the end, you can end up putting your head on your hands if you need to.